I'm in a dressing gown, you know it's serious, we're going to talk about the Linux iceberg. Icebergs are a list of, of things a community knows about from most popular, the tip of the iceberg, to the least popular, the bottom of the iceberg. What are only a few things this community knows about? <laughs> community? Linux is a community. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it, shall we? Clap, clap. So we've got five tiers here. Uh, and we're going to start at the first one. This is by ByteSeb. Thank you, Mr. ByteSeb. And <laughs> Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. I like Reddit. First of all, at tier one, we've got Linux distributions. You know what they are. You're probably using one now. Fedora, Arch Linux, Debian, Ubuntu. We do not need to go into those. Desktop environments. GNOME, KDE. There's probably some more. That's what desktop environments are. Cinnamon. Mate. Package manager. The only real difference of distributions is a package manager. Hot take and not true, but that's my take. Um, DNF. Arch. Yum. Is kind of like DNF. Apt. Sorcery. Ooh la la. The how you install things. They're your app store. <laughs> app store. They're your app store for Linux. Steam Deck. Valve's attempt at a portable hardware. Nintendo Switch-like thing with the joysticks on the side. Running... Linux, running Arch Linux. The Steam Deck uses Arch, by the way. Um, Linus Torvalds, the maker of Linux. Tux, the penguin that bit Linus Torvalds, and that's why we've got the Tux logo. Well, Linus was bit by a penguin in a zoo in Australia, I believe. He was bit by a bloody fairy penguin. Love those little things to bits. That's why he chose the Tux as the penguin. GNU. GNU's not Unix. 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 It just goes on forever. They make a lot of the packages a system. That's all you need to know. Richard Stallman. Beard. Eats things from his feet. Lover of free software. Hero of the free software community. We like Richard Stallman. Writes the GPL. Quite a good developer. Does lots for the open source lads. Very good. We like him. Distro watch and art choose. Arch distro chooser. I don't know what distro chooser is, but if it's next with distro watch, distro watch is a website that ranks Linux distributions by popularity, but they're not actually by popularity, they're just by page view, so it's irrelevant information. Linux market share. I guess that's the percentage that Linux is on the market share. What is the Linux market share? Linux market share, two percent! Whole! Whole! That's higher. That's higher than usual. That's pretty good, but that's probably desktop marketing share, which doesn't count. Linux's actual market share is giga high. Probably will never know the true value due to the nature of Linux. Chrome OS actually runs Linux. I believe it's a Gentoo-based distribution, actually. Uh, that's on your Chromebook. It's actually Gentoo, so... All those people using Chromebooks are smarter than you because they're using Gen 2 and you're using Arch. <laughs> Noob. Right. Shell. You have a shell. It's a bash shell, probably. Or fish. Raspberry Pi. A very small computer that can run ARM-based operating systems, which Linux can do. Very common. But now there is a Windows ARM-based distribution, which a surprising amount of people use, and it's horrific to see. FSH. This is the file system hierarchy. If you look on your bloody computer, man higher, as in hierarchy, enter. But you get the file system hierarchy. It's slash opt, root, run, bin, user, boots. It's all that kind of jazz. That's what it is. I'd just like to interject for a moment. What you're referring to as Linux is not GNU Linux. It's not actually Linux, but part of the GNU operating system. Actually, Richard. It is called Linux. Bruh. I use Arch, by the way. <laughs> I don't, but you probably do because you're a lad. And everyone who watches this video probably uses Arch. Unless you don't, in which case you break free from the herd. Uh, run Windows software on Linux. You use Wine and it, it emulates... It doesn't emulate Wine, it's not an emulator. It provides, like, APIs, I think, for Windows binaries to talk to. And it's like, I'm actually Windows, but it's not. So that is, you can run Windows software on Linux quite easily these days. NeoFetch. NeoFetch is a tool that you probably type every day to look at your logo. If you go onto Reddit, every screenshot will have NeoFetch typed in. I am proud to say, friends, that I do not have NeoFetch installed. Oh, but let's just install it to show you what it does. Oh, that's what it does there. Ho, ho, okay, okay. I will not show you how many packages I've got installed because that is embarrassing. But this is what NeoFetch does, it's useless. Uh, it makes you look cool, I guess, but you can get all this other information easier. Anyway, uh, it makes you look cool on screenshots because this is your OS, and this will normally be an Arch, so you can show off that you use Arch, by the way. Right. Um, TTY, this is a teletype. This is kind of what your shell gives you access to, and you can also press, like, Control alt f 2 and you get access to a... Well, they're virtual teletypes. A real teletype is like an actual physical thing. 
like an all-in-one computer. Yeah, that, that's a teletype. Look, they're these things, and you type on them, and you you say like ls, and it goes with your ls on it, like. Instead of using a screen, it uses paper. This is why you would have line-based editors like ED as opposed to Vim, which is a, a full-on terminal editor. It's impossible. Editors is what you would use on this, but you always use a VTTY, so use a virtual one. Uh, and you've got quite a few of them if you press your Control and Alt keys. There you go. Control, Alt, F1 through to whatever. Right, we're on to tier three. We're getting, we're below the surface now. Do as I say, Linus. Linus tried to install Linus Tech Tips, not the good Linus, tried to install software on a distribution Popos and he said it was basically going to break his whole computer and it said, I'm going to break your computer, type do as I say and I'll break your computer because I'm going to uninstall these packages and he typed do as I say and he broke his computer. Big surprise. Right, Windows Subsystem for Linux. This is Microsoft's attempt at making Linux users happy on Windows. It doesn't work. Well, it does work. It works surprisingly well. But it's got a ton of limitations that are just too much to even handle. Tiling window managers. The year of the Linux desktop. This is the year of the Linux desktop. It's been said as long as I remember. I've been doing this, what, seven years? Seven or eight years? Every year it's been the year of the Linux desktop. It basically is the peak adoption of how much Linux is going to be adopted. <laughs> Libre booting. Libre booting is is when you change your BIOS on your change your BIOS on your motherboard to be free and open source. So you've got core boot first, which is like easy, and then you've got Libre boot, which is another step on top of that. It's like a replacement for your BIOS that's open source. Minnesota University van. Minnesota University as a as a little little meme, little prank, committed bad code to the kernel, I think. And Linus was like, you can't do that, that's bad. <laughs> Rawr. They got banned from contributing to Linux. Idiots. Uh, Windows Refund Day. This was a protest back in the 90s that um, I went to. And uh, that we, uh, we went to Microsoft and we said, look, we've bought these computers with Windows on, but we install Linux straight away. Your EULA, your end user's license agreement says, you can refund this. We haven't even used it. Can we refund the license key, please? And they were like, no. Developers, developers, developers. X11 and Wayland Pulse Audio and Pipewire. Necessary evils. Uh, destructive commands. X11 is good, Pulse Audio is alright. How, how you draw windows and how you do music. Sound. Destructive commands. RM slash. No preserve root. You destroy Linux. Um, Linux phones. The phones that run Linux on them. Nokia N900? Yeah? N900, anyone? Anyone got an N900? Any N900 bros out there? One of my friends still uses one to this day. Very cool. Um, but this one might be Purism or Libra or what have you. Phones that run Linux. Nothing too special. But ah! Android is Linux based, so is every Android phone also a Linux phone? I'll leave that one up for you to decide, friend. Tier 4. We are very low now. Linux is free if you don't value your time. A blatantly false statement made by Tech Lead, a YouTuber. This is the Tech Lead. I am the tech lead. Uh, it got blown up out of proportion. Uh, I kind of think it was like, whatever, who cares about what this man says? Just ignore him. Don't blow it up. Don't waste your time arguing with someone who is clearly convinced. Right, just drop it, just drop it. Drop it, now. Exiting Vim. Ubuntu and Amazon. Ubuntu used to have a Amazon link on their Unity desktop environment. Uh, that was kind of weird. Why would you build an Amazon link, proprietary software, into your OS? Pretty cringe. Pretty cringe canonical. Mark Shuttleworth, get back up into space. Linux you later, that's wine for BSD. Very pog. Ubuntu causes girl to drop out of college, that is a vintage one. She bought a laptop, somehow had Linux on it, and she was like, I can't open my Word document. And left college. She's probably gonna leave anyway. System D hate. Everyone hates System D because it's bloated. It does way more than it should. It runs as process ID one. It's a stupidly lot amount of, of C code. No one really knows how it works except some guy who works for Microsoft. Oh, Leonard Pottering, what are you doing? Pretty pretty cringe software. Um, also, its log files are binary. What? Who thought that'd be a good idea? Windows kernel replaced with Linux. This is a really good conspiracy theory. I like this one. Windows. NT kernel, I believe that's what it's called, their kernel, is being replaced by the Linux kernel because Linux is clearly better and more sustainable. Windows kernel is insane and crazy, probably, 
right? Um, and I think it's slowly getting superseded by Linux, and one day it will be Linux, and no one will know, and they'll be violating the GPL. Linux is obsolete. There's an argument that was had between Linus, our hero of this story, and um, Tananban, Mr. Miniax. Andrew Tananban. Andrew Tananban. Good operating system, kind of, but it was microkernel versus monolithic, and... He said Linux is obsolete, and this was in like, I don't know. He said this like, 1992. I was in the US for a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, and then Linus responded with some, oh, fire. Serious flame festing, 1992. When was the last comment on this thread? July 1st, 2022. I use Miniax, by the way. 1992. I use Miniax, by the way. 2022. I use Arch, by the way. 1992. GNU Herd, Vaporware. 2022. GNU Herd, Vaporware. True. Historic. I like, how do I thumbs up a news group? How do I thumbs up an email chain, guys? I want to give him karma. <laughs> Linux on Mars. This is the Mars helicopter here. I'm guessing it runs Linux. Very cool. Uh, shouldn't be this far down the iceberg, right? I think the rovers run VXWorks, though, which is a real-time based operating system. So, not Linux, but I think the helicopter runs Linux. There you go. Um, divisive community. Linux, Linux uh, community hates itself. Um, for reasons, because you're all super nerds and everyone stays inside all the time, so their opinions and echo chambers that they're in escalate and escalate and escalate until they explode because they have no outputs and they, they, they hate each other. Yes? Oh, we're at the bottom of the iceberg. Lineos Toro Voltos. Lineos Toro Voltos. BSD, Linux, Debian, and Mandrake are all versions of an illegal hacker operating system invented by a Soviet computer hacker named Linus Todorovoltos. Before the Russians lost the Cold War, it was based on a program called Xenex, which was written by Microsoft for the US government. These programs are used by hackers to break into other people's computer systems <laughs> and steal credit card numbers. They may also be used to break into people's stereos to steal their music using MP3 program. Todorovoltos is a notorious hacker responsible for writing many hacking programs such as Talnet, which is used by hackers to connect machines to the internet without using a telephone. You'll suddenly try to install Linux on your hard drive. If he is careful, you may notice its presence. However, Linux is a capricious beast. If it's handled correctly, your son may damage your computer and even break it by deleting Windows, at which point you will have to, you'll have to tell your Computer to be repaired by a professional hola. If you see the word Lilo, that's grub, back in the day. It's a different bootloader for you new buddies. Um, during your Windows startup, just after you turn the machine on, your son has installed Linux. In order to get rid of Linux, you'll have to send your computer back to the manufacturer and have them fit a new hard drive. Linux is extremely dangerous software and cannot be removed without destroying parts of your hard disk surface. <gasps> mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Right. Linux from scratch. This should be at the top of the iceberg in my opinion. Linux from scratch, by the way, basically make your own distribution, but there's instructions to follow along. Uh, I think it's a really good learning resource. So if you're, if you're really into learning Linux, do Linux from scratch. Audacity is spyware. This is referring to the scandal of when Audacity was bought, I believe, by about last year, and they added a bunch of nasty code into it. Not cool. Uh, the Halloween documents. This is my, these are internal documents from Microsoft that were leaked, I believe. Yes, potential strategies and to Linux in particular. Temple OS. This isn't related to Linux, but it's an operating system made by a godlike programmer. God told him to create the third, fourth, maybe holy temple, and he took this to be an operating system. It's an unusual operating system. Has lots of interesting technical features, though. Uh, unfortunately, it ended quite. Uh, it's no longer developed because. He's sadly no longer with us, R.I.P. Terry. All praise to the Most High. Linus's behaviour on mailing lists. He is straight to the point and people take this as brutish and arseholeish behaviour. You need someone like Linus just to tell people off. Doesn't let anyone pull his leg. We like Linus on this channel. Weird versions of Linux. Hannah Montana Linux, I guess. I don't know what this is really talking about. Is this talking about weird distributions or versions? I don't know. Justin Bieber Linux. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is this what I'm right. Rebecca Blackos? <laughs> Amoogus. That's sussy. Ooh, well, I'm too. <laughs> Suicide Linux. This one is pretty pog. Um, if you run a wrong command, it RMRFs your system. It's actually a Debian package, I believe, as well, so you can install that. Steam Locomotive. This is a SL command. So if you mistype Alex, that's not a Linux distribution, though. Cowsay, that's pog, blah blah blah. Whatever, okay. Something, I don't fully understand. NSA's attempt, to, I almost read that as NASA. NSA's attempt to backdoor Linux. NSA approached Linus to backdoor Linux. They said, someone asked Linus a question, has the NSA, has the NSA approached you 
to backdoor Linux, and he goes, no. Wink. Riser FS, also known as Murder FS, made by a, a, a good file system back in the day, when I was, you know, learning Linux 20 years ago, it was a good file system. Um, really good and quite innovative, actually. However, its founder murdered Mr. Riser, Hans Riser, murdered his wife. Uh, so that's why it's called Murder FS, and obviously it didn't really go along from there. So, used to be the default file system of uh, Susie, Sousa, Sousa, Sousa Linux. So, take with that what you will. Uh, Debian founders N. Mr. Murdoch sadly took his own life. Or did he? That's the conspiracy, that's why it's there. Woo! I think he was just very depressed, to be honest. I feel bad for him. He made a decent distribution. But I don't know too much about that one, I don't really want to. What would I add to the... I would add... you got, you got to put... you got to put... Some other things in there. You've got to put green as my pepper in there, I think, for sure. You've got to put green as my pepper. I don't know... I know who these are. I have no idea who this is, actually. Who is that? I don't know. This is the Mars helicopter. That is Tux. That's the end of the video. Please subscribe.